Hello, Arabata. I'm starting two minutes early so that I can get some announcements in for the people that are going to be watching this after the fact. So first announcement is the Etsy store will be opening on Friday, April 17th. I have 15 sweet dreams. I might be doing the addiction blend. I have 15 of the oils. We have zero panther oil. I am some is brewing, but it'll be a little bit for that. I have to choose my words very carefully. I have this time massage oil. I just finished bottling these and putting the wax on them. This is an antique bottle. And then uh, this is an antique. It's a cute. Anyway, those three bottles will be up on the Etsy store and that will be this Friday. And then I am doing a workshop with the San Francisco Psychedelic Society. And I think those are going to be in June. And there's two of them, an introductory workshop and then a workshop that goes for two months and will go through the whole. See, there's certain words I can't say on YouTube. Anyway, we take you through an entire process of communion. And there's a journal workbook that we're going to be working through for that. So stay tuned for all that stuff. If you are watching this and you realize a lot of my videos are missing, that's because YouTube has taken all of the ones down that have to do with what my channel is about. And I have a website. If you want to know when any of these things are happening, like I'm on the Mushroom Hour podcast, I think that's going to be airing here in about a month. Anyway, anything you want to know that's happening on that on my website, AmanitaDreamer.net, you just sign up to get emails and I don't spam you. In the three weeks since I've started it, I've sent one email out and it had, I think, four sentences, <laughs> short and sweet, because I don't, I don't like to spam people. So if you want to be told when each thing is happening, that's what you can do. So I can't believe a month came back around again already. This is exciting. So let me see who's checked in. Hey, Pamela. Howdy, howdy. Thank you. Thank you, original. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> hey, Luke. Danny. Danny's always commenting on social media. I really appreciate it. Greetings from Lithuania. Hey, Eric. I'm so glad y'all are still around. <sighs> To say that people have disappeared is an understatement. My channel stopped growing completely. Kind of weird and kind of heartbreaking. And a few people are showing up at the website. We'll see how that goes. Very weird. All of it is very weird. Hello, child. Regina. Hey, Regina. Isha. Hey, Isha. Pop Fizz, you are so here. I'm so glad you're here. So we'll let people get on in here. It's been a hell of a month with um, what YouTube has done and everything that they have taken down. And I know I keep harping on it, but a lot of people still don't know. Hey, Dee, how are you? A lot of people still don't know. And all, all I can tell you is I'm, I'm only beginning to show up in the search rankings for my website. And the way that happens, I learned through SEO class, the way that happens is the more links there are to the website out there. So that whole thing I was saying up front about, oh, my, you like my website? Thank you. I worked so hard on it. Are you going to get any new merch? Not for now. Merch sales, even when the channel was hopping, were really, really, really low. And I think it's because, I mean, you can still go get the merch that's the um, the black and white mushroom. This one. That one's still on the merch shelf on my channel. But I think it's because people mostly in my channel don't like to support Made in China stuff. You know, I don't know. Anyway, that's not where I'm putting my effort and energy. I'm just, I think I'm just going to leave that merch there as it is. Every little bit helps. And I'm putting a lot of money into and prepper, I have a lot of preparation into something really big. Got a big announcement. So we're at 23 people. When we reach about 40 people, then I will make this really big announcement that you will be here for. So 
a lot of the, when I first said that the best way for you to stay, well, to help me show up or whatever is to, if you like one of my videos on my website, share it out there. And it's really true. Like a lot of questions are starting to come back again that those videos cover and help with. And I'm not, my videos don't show up in search results anymore. If you Google anything on anything about this particular subject, um, then I don't come up anymore. My videos don't come up anymore. But if you put a link to any of my videos from the website anywhere out there, the more y'all do that, the more I'm going to start showing up in search results and people will wind up going over there. So what I think is going to happen is that there's just going to be this lull probably for the summer as people slowly convert from finding me on YouTube to finding the website. But I love what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm ignoring all of the intelligent advice, which is, Find a niche and stay in it and make videos about that. But I still like doing cinematics and my nature walks. And I'm not, that is really deep. And I'm not going to stop doing that. And we do the summer solstice and the winter solstice drum sessions. And why wouldn't I just video those and put them up? And the other thing is mental health. Like I just feel driven to continue to make these mental health videos because people need it. Not that I'm some like mental health professional, but I mean, I, why not share what I learned and what's helped me? So I'm doing that. So I think I look a little schizophrenic, maybe a little weird, a little all over the place. That's probably a bad term. I look unfocused. I'm very focused. I know what I'm doing. I like doing those different kinds of videos. And then the spiritual videos, all the traction videos. I don't know. It goes against wise thinking for how to succeed on the Internet. But I have never been a normal human being. So I'm not going to start now. I don't think I know how to be normal. Let me catch up with y'all. Oh, my next video that's coming out is on fate and destiny versus free will. So it's already uploaded to YouTube. I've just got to make it public. And then the other one is the big announcement that I've got to make today. I have a video on, on that also. But see, like I can put that on YouTube. That doesn't, I don't have to put that on my, uh, my website. Peace, love, and light. Hey, Shaggy. Abra, yes, love your web website. Amazing new groove. You're trailblazing. Well, we'll see. Sometimes I feel like I'm burning it all down instead of blazing trails. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Eatable season started again. Couldn't find one. Yeah, and y'all saw the ones on the morels. It's out there. It's raining right now. So you better bet tomorrow I'm going to be looking for more of them. Yep, Shaggy. I mean, I can't be anything else except me. I don't I don't think I would be successful faking it, you know. I think it would land with a thud. Okay, we're up to 33. Oh, we just dropped to 32. Lost somebody. Hey, Deanne. Hello, hello. All right, I guess we'll go in with the announcement. Oh, original, you're in the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, are you did you know that I spent a summer in the Netherlands? When I was in college, I met somebody from the Netherlands. I was like, hey, I want to come visit your country. And I went during Carnival. No, the Kermis. And I got a job. Well, I went right before the Kermis season started. And I got a job working on a flower farm right outside Akerslot. And what we did, we would go on Mondays, <clears throat> dig up the bulbs, you know, and then sort them through the week. And then the flowers that were cut, we would pull all of them and clean them up and get them ready for sale there. And then on Fridays, the truck came and we loaded up all the bulbs and everything and to send them off to other countries. And I had a blast. I lived there. I was there for like two and a half months, I think. And I got my... Um, well, the equivalent of our social security number, my government number, you know, to be able to hold a job there. And I was starting to learn the language. And the coolest thing is when I started dreaming in Dutch. That was that was cool. That was fascinating to me. But I miss I miss Holland. I hung out Akersloot and Alkmaar and obviously Amsterdam. We go into Amsterdam and. I went to Denach one day, but mostly like I liked to go up to the north where it was really cold there on the beach with the dikes and everything and 
eat there along the beach and everything. It's really pretty up there. Just got our videos. Four friends and I are. Oh, good word, Nano. I like that. The oil. And we're convinced it facilitates deep meditative exploration. Thank you. See, right? 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 That's some, it's, there's definitely something going on with that oil. And I've been using it a lot. One of the new ways that I'm using the Panther is for my face. I'm using it as a youthful anti-aging face serum. And when I put it on, it burns a little bit, which I think is the, the one that starts with an eye. And then my skin gets dry and sloughs off. And then there's like fresh skin underneath. But we'll see what that does. And I don't know what made me think to do that, but I like I like it. Are you all ready for our big announcement? We're at 38. We were at 39 and we lost somebody. Gosh, I keep losing people. Yeah, I live at the border with Germany. Alton is the name of the village. Oh, cool. You're in the southern part. Yeah, the, when I left that summer, I went through um, Germany. I flew in and out of Frankfurt and I got to drive on the Autobahn. That was fun. Keep doing what makes sense to you. One directional content might sell better, but multi-directional builds more relationships. And see, that's what I care about. Yes, please, to the mental health. Okay, cool. I care more about building a community. People say that, but I don't think they understand or mean it like the way I mean it. I mean it like I lost my tribe years ago because I'm so weird and, and I don't know. There's nobody else like me. And then I was like, there's got to be other people like me out there. So I wanted to build. I wanted people to find their tribe and I wanted to build a community, you know. All right. Big announcement. Not that most of you will care, but it's kind of a big deal to me. I have decided to do an in-person retreat here in Georgia for the summer solstice. So if you go to the website, there's a link at the top that says retreat. There's only enough room for 10 people. And it starts on the Saturday. We have the lake. We're going to be doing the drumming ceremony, a tea ceremony. I'm going to feed you, putting you up for the night. There's pictures of the place. All of that's on the website. And the next day I teach you how to set up your own drum circle and your own community. I bought a singing bowl. We're going to be do, learning how to use a singing bowl. And then we're going to do a drum ceremony on the solstice before we disband. So what do you think? I'm all excited about it. It's going to be up on a mountain in a really cool place and a really cool house. Y'all, the place where I do my drums that y'all have seen, so that's my big announcement. I'm very excited about it. So let's see. Nano dosing the Russian pain oil. Yeah. I use it on pulse points, but also I use it orally. But now I've been using it as a, an anti-aging sort of serum thing. And yippee. Some words about... You want me to say some words about that? Because I don't use it. Edgar. Don't worry. There are a lot of people living rather disconnected from society for X, Y, Z reason. I'm quite distant for the most part, too. You know what? And there's a lot of us that don't fit the typical construct role of society. And we're like, we would like to have friends. <laughs> it's just we're, a we're atypical. I think we can all be atypical together. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The retreat sounds great. I wish we could attend. I do too. Opens up subtle dream time cognition in a shared group time. So lucid yet so deep. I agree. I agree. So we, we spoke a little bit about this before when I did my impromptu live stream, when I got my channel back after being gone for a while, the three weeks that YouTube locked me out. And I don't know how many of you actually watched that, but I wanted to go over it just quickly to tell you because it's so important to the entheogenic community and how it's changing. And I don't want anyone to get left behind because it's like this 
flame burned really brightly and then disappeared. And if you weren't around for this year and a half that it happened, you could have missed it. And then there's going to be a lull and then there's going to be a new longer spike. And so here's what I'm talking about. So if any anybody had panic or anxiety and didn't know what to do about it, you were pretty much screwed. All the people that are out there stuck on the pharmaceutical version didn't know what to do about it or how to get off of it. I show up and all of a sudden, you know, 12,000 people are like, uh, yes, please. Thank you. Right. And then YouTube does their thing. But also, if anybody wanted to be able to grow at home, the other one, the blue version, <clears throat> plus any of the medis other medicinals, then that's where they went. And I remember when I was first finding lion's mane out there and I thought I might want to create some myself here with some of the spores that I found. I mean, when you search that on YouTube, there were literally thousands and thousands of instructional videos about that, about all of them, not this one, because you can't grow, can't grow that one, but all of the others. And since YouTube went on their thing that they went on, which is really weird because <clears throat> we are moving toward legalization of the blue one. All of a sudden, there's this huge surge in the medicinal ones. And now we're moving toward, well, all of the announcements about the legalization of the plant, the green plant, the 420. And even as DC has moved to legalize, <clears throat> sorry, YouTube changed their algorithm to back off on striking videos that talk about the green plant and then tightened restrictions on the fungal kingdom. And all those videos started going away and all in one fell swoop in a two week period, channels were just taken down. And so we're in a weird time now where we are moving toward legalization. I was, we're legal here. But and then I was being found <clears throat> and we're helping people. What is going on? Oh, allergies, Georgia. And so if you happen to have gotten lucky and found me in that one and a half year period, then it was just this really weird period. If you happen to have gotten on YouTube to learn how to create things at home with the blue one and the other ones that are just medicinal, and you happen to be in there in that three to five year window where all of those were proliferating on YouTube. Good for you, but they're gone now. And so something really weird is happening toward legalization. And this is already legal. But when psyched wellness gets FDA approval to declare this safe for human consumption, then what? Because their whole stance is that it's dangerous and illegal, but they're you know, whatever, it's not illegal and it won't be dangerous. Doesn't mean they have to let anything be back on YouTube and they probably won't. I don't know what their problem is. And then if you consider the fact that psych wellness will need to be advertising and they can't advertise on YouTube and they're going to be working with me to create a product, I'm going to be able to brand a product with them. I'm going to work with them. That's really cool. And I can't market it on YouTube. So it's really weird how this is happening. So here's the thing. If if more and more people or if the federal government moves to fully legalize everything, including the synthetic one that has three letters that starts with L, even the one that one that you put on paper, even if they legalize all this stuff, safe use and any leaders in it and spiritual people talking about the the intelligence of the part that grows underground, any of that stuff that where are you going to get that information? So here's what I'm trying to get people to do now and understand those days of sitting back and getting your information and following the content makers on YouTube are over and you are going to have to actively search for them now. And they've all, they're all leaving YouTube quickly so you're going to have to, even if you don't like other forms of social media, 
You don't have to get involved in it, but right now it's all we've got. And as each platform changes the rules and starts striking down certain things, then people are going to keep moving and shifting. You are here in a very weird time in internet history, in the testing of the laws of the use of AI, the testing of the laws of the use of censorship with social media. I mean, we are in the wild west and everything is changing so rapidly about entheogens and social media and censorship and AI. It's insane. And everyone's learning and the platforms themselves are having to learn what is ethical. What do we want to stand for? What do we want to stand against? And they're learning that there's a lot of bias written into AI. And a lot of that's coming out on TikTok right now. And there's a lot of lawsuits against TikTok because the AI were being AI and it turns out they were marginalizing people of color. They were allowing abusive things to stand. People that were fighting against the abuse were getting taken down. It was a, it was weird what was happening. Well, that's happening now in, with YouTube, except that YouTube is going the way of they're getting rid of the orientate people who don't orient typically male and female in the whole alphabet. I can't say it. If you're on that spectrum, those things are being taken down. And even as we are understanding those people's needs and rights, and then people of color are being marginalized here on this platform. And now all the enthusiasts. So what I'm saying is, these are weird times. We are in the wild west of all of this. I feel certain 50 years from now, this will all be hammered out, either for the better of us or for the worse. We don't know. But it will get hammered out and it won't be so weird. But for now and probably for the next five to 10 years, as laws change and governments change and as countries change and as we maybe become a more global commerce society, we will see things change. But for now, if you want to keep learning, you need to be able to get on other social media platforms. You don't have to use them. You don't have to like them. You don't have to get involved in them. Make your account and curate it wisely so that what shows up in your feed are the people and the creators you want to get your education from and that you trust and that you want to learn from. There are a lot of good creators making intelligent, thoughtful content using science or they're commenting bias free on the news or the media or they're covering emerging science in the entheogenic community or the medicinal community as it's getting shut down everywhere else. So you're going to get left behind. You're going to wind up in an idiocracy. You're going to wind up on a YouTube that is nothing but entertainment. And you're not going to know how you got there. And you're not going to know where to get your news anymore and stay up to speed. If you have been missing all of my announcements, because I'm still uploading, I'm still making content. I'm obviously still selling in my Etsy store. I, I haven't stopped. I've only broadened what I'm doing. But on YouTube, it's been quiet because of the way they've censored me. So if you're missing out, it's because you're not moving off of YouTube into other platforms. I hate Twitter, but guess what I did? I'm freaking on Twitter now, right? So it's harder for me to get up every single day and have to post more now on Facebook and now Twitter and my Instagram, which I absolutely love, and on YouTube and my website. It is more time draining for me to do this but it is a labor of love while we wade through the insanity and the wild west that is our entire environment right now and these are exciting times to be alive and i'm happy to be part of it and be living it and watching it unfold it hurts don't think I haven't cried and stressed and had panic attacks. This is one of the most painful things I've been through since I got off the medication and found this treatment. It's the most unstable and it's the most difficult rough patch I've been through. But interesting, exciting times that are groundbreaking are also sometimes very painful and difficult. 
And if you want to keep moving forward with it, you're going to have to branch out and follow people across all of the social media platforms. But listen, you can curate the feed you want. Learn how the AI works. Learn how the platform works and actively get involved in saying, I'm not interested in that. Like what you like. Follow creators you like to follow and you will curate your news feed so that it's something you can look forward to waking up to. And it doesn't have to be disgusting and trolling and shitty. You control your feed by curating it in a thoughtful way. So do that. Pick one platform, get on it, curate your feed, and then add another platform, curate your feed. And then you can wake up, sit on the toilet, be on your phone and not feel guilty that you're just consuming trash, but you can actually educate yourself. You know what I mean? And then when you need a break from work, Get on a different media platform and consume intelligent media and keep yourself educated because I can promise you Google isn't going to be around returning the results that you want much longer. They're already not. I mean, they're censoring. Google is censoring way. They're a little they're behind what YouTube is doing. But since Google owns YouTube and we already see what YouTube is doing and Google is starting to do it. So you're not always going to be able to just Google what you want especially if you find something in the woods and you would like to preserve those spores at home. So there are platforms that still allow that, but they're, they're starting to censor harshly. I know TikTok, when I first got on it nine months ago, that's where everyone had moved to, but now they're gone from TikTok. So those people just keep moving and they announce before they go, look, this is where I'm headed. Some of them are making their own websites, but, but not many. And this is the weeding out period. You know, when we had the um, when alcohol became illegal here in America, I mean, it weeded out a lot of people. And when they repealed prohibition, then a few names really doubled down and went all in on it. And that's what we're starting to see now with legalization and with information. So get involved and actively curate the news, the media and the information you want. Okay. I'm off my soapbox now. Coming up in May, I'm getting my tattoo for the channel because the end of May, beginning of June is my two year anniversary. So to celebrate, I'm taking you with me to get a tattoo. We got a lot coming up. If you want to be notified of everything as it's happening, go to AmanitaDreamer.net. Put your name in there for to get the email and I'll let you know. Let me catch up now. Okay. Let me catch up. <laughs> wow, y'all talked a lot while I was running my mouth. Um, try a few. Let's see. So sad with all the crap. You can still find. Oh, damaging things and crap are still out there. <coughs> and the good stuff is going away. Um, hi, Manura. Hi, Edgar. I already said hi to Edgar. Ronald Craig. 35, 40 people watching, but only 15 likes. If you haven't done so yet, smash that like button. I need to start saying that, but I'm just, it's not my personality. Seems to do it sporadically up and down venture. Not lately. Um, if you'll notice now, anything that has to do with that is almost gone. Even some that were holdouts that they were allowing to stay, those are gone. Every time I check, there's fewer and fewer. They're, they're going to wipe them out pretty sure. Pupils are so large. Well, the glasses make them big, maybe. Oh, but the pupils, are they really? I mean, I inhaled before I did this because I like to tune into the voice, you know, before I, yeah, maybe that's why, Enrico. Real, I appreciate you for that. I appreciate you, original. Pollen is crazy. Dude, Georgia, it's like, you know how the North has snow? We get pollen and everything turns completely yellow. Thank you for that, Matthias. Hey, Justin. Oh, spring flowers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sec I can't say that word, pop fizz. Are a unique threat to the technocracy for which YouTube is a primary gateway. It is, well, you know, it is and it isn't. It's not a threat. It doesn't harm technology for us to be balanced and informed and intelligent people. 
which is what the use of an entheogen will do. The only weird stretch I can come up with is that the advertisers who are selling crap and junk that you won't want to consume after you do entheogens, maybe those advertisers don't like it. But I do know that the alcohol lobby is pretty strong, but I mean, I don't see too many alcohol ads, but I mean, that's just because that's how I curate, I guess, my ad experience. Everything original has to go. That's why so-called autistic people wear attack for years, right? Maybe. Well, I know we were attacked because we, they thought that we were, because some autistic people do have learning deficiencies, but most of us are actually highly intelligent. And for the most part, historically, we were valued in the community for our tracking abilities, how we were in touch with the animal kingdom and for our intelligence and ability to learn sort of quickly. Um, it's only been like in the last couple of hundred years that we've been treated like we're broken or something. Okay. These again, um, let's see. I'm amazed at how you're so resilient going through with your projects. You know what though, Halcyon? It's because I wasn't because I got beaten down to, and abused so much and treated so badly until I was suicidal that I lost my resilience. And I'm like, well, God, you know, how many times can you get beaten down and stand back up before you just can't stand up anymore? It's am an oh. I almost said it. It's it's what my channel is about that has that's do that's driving all of this. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Thank you, Zen, for the rainbow and the heart. Is that for the community? I couldn't say their letters. Enrico, when dreams collide, the walls of reality shake. Dude, I like that. And that's so true. Where are we? Where are we? I scrolled too far. Agree, a hundred and a hundred. Cool. I believe that though is energy. The more we look inside, the more we see. This is true. Preference, Twitter or par. I'm on Twitter. I don't like it, but I'm there. I'm not going to get on Parlor. There's no way. No way. I'm getting on that nastiness. I'm not. I'm on too many. I'm on too many platforms. So I'm focusing on Twitter. Instagram and Facebook because they have the largest audience, but mostly my website. So as each of those starts to narrow whatever, what I can or can't do, I'm just going to keep moving people to the website because I'm focused. Like I just did the podcast, the mushroom hour podcast. There's other podcasts that I'm going to be working with. I want to be speaking at and going to different countries and speaking at, at mushroom events and occasions and things. I'm doing workshops. I'm doing my retreat. So if I slowly get pushed off social media, then that's what I'll be is, oh, and I've got a children's book I just wrote. I'm just looking for a an illustrator. It's about our ancestors loving and accepting and appreciating our elders and then letting them go in death. It's written. I just got to get an uh, artist. The right decisions for the brain. Thanks, original. Sarine, Svikas, Edgar, I. I don't speak it. I'm sorry. I, I just butchered that. Shreemy, holy shit. Oh, my God. I love you, too. Oh, did y'all watch the eight and a half gram video, which is now on my website that I did? And Shreemy, Shreemy was there, and I called him a fluffy thing. <laughs> and, oh, God. What a beautiful human. I miss you, Shreemy. Gaga, hello. Moving to Twitch. I don't have that platform. I got OS OBX software, which my website supports. So I'm going to be going live on my website next month. I've just got a learning curve. I asked my son to help me with it. And he looked at me. He's like, you don't need me. It's easy. And then I sat there for an hour watching tutorials trying to figure it out. So hopefully he'll help me learn OBX. And then one month from now, I'll be streaming from my website through OBX. Edgar speaking another language and Manu Ra. So glad I discovered you. Thank you for being here, Manu. We all benefit. The more people that are here, the more y'all can learn each other and who each other is and help each other out too, you know. Henry, I love your work and what you do. 
I want to tune in with Yelp and go on a spirit quest. How do I go there? I may tea and eat, but only a mild. Go watch my videos on my website, amanitadreamer.net. I can't give you personal specific advice for reasons, but the the wreck video is there. Let me know if you saw it. And Child Advocate, yay on the children's book. I like it. I'll read it to you if you want me to read it to you. Just putting it out there. Dave Rubin has a platform called Locals. And let's see. S Space Marmot. I'm addicted to. Yeah, I know. I've been there. And you gave me some hope to break the cycle. You are one of the reasons why I'm still living. Wow. Holy shit. That's kind of profound. Yeah. I mean, you look for any reason that you can when you know that there might be hope. There's definitely hope. Get on the forum. There are a lot of people that have posted there. Although for some reason, for all the people that are signed up, it's not active. And I'm not sure why, because all of y'all talk and you need each other. So maybe we could try to get the forum going again. I don't know why people aren't more active there. But I wish you the best with that. I really do. If you post on the forum, I check the forum every other day. I'm really, really busy now, but I try to check it every other day. Isha, thank you for the heart. Shroomy, I miss you too. I'll reach out soon. I know some illustrators. What? So happy to see you and the community keeping active. Aw, thanks for ducking your head in and saying hi, Shroomy. Original, thank you for the, like, are used in hospital, like, yeah, I know, Enrico. Aw, bye, Shroomy. I found your website when I was trying to show my friend the 8G video, and it was gone from YouTube. The site looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I worked so hard on it. That's all I did is just sat here at this computer. Like the sun would come up, the sun would go down and I'm just still banging away on the computer. <laughs> is it possible that dreams could be controlled by the emotions? It will happen what we truly feel. So if we could control dreams, it would be the escape from the stress. I don't know. I've thought a lot about that. And the more I think about, well, so if we could wake up in the dream and think about reality as a dream, we could still control our emotions from the inside. No fear. No. The bigger question is controlling emotions. Now, if your emotions are shitty, then of course you want to control them. But rather than controlling emotions, I think it's more about letting them have motion. Because if we if we repress or hate or hold back certain emotions because we don't like them and we make them stuck, that's when we get sick. And it's about letting them move. But so what if it's if letting them move doesn't seem to help, then that's because you haven't fixed the environment or what's causing that. You, you know, you're still in that bad relationship, bad job, bad food. I don't know, whatever it is. And you haven't dealt with the past. And that's where the entheogens come in is they help. They help fix up here and help the emotions move. You've got to keep them moving. It's less about controlling them and more about keeping them moving. Edgar, I just spoke with a girl from same land, couple worlds. I don't get it. Are you talking to someone else? Gaga, can you make a starter kit for people to get started with it, too? Well, I mean, that's kind of what it is that I sell in my blends. Otherwise, it would just be just the straight up material by itself, which anyone can buy anywhere. I mean, so if you're talking about parting it out, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to make um, chocolate. However, I can't do that until the FDA declares it safe for human consumption. What I sell right now has to be incense. And this is just this is. Um, oil for an oil, oil burner. So I have to be careful right now. So I can't even list it as that's what it's for. But yes, I want to do that very much. Once the FDA declares it's safe for human consumption, I'd like to put a nano kit dose thing together. Absolutely. I've actually been looking into the packaging for that and how I would mail it and list it and all that. Oh, hey, audio, you made it. Cool. Uh, oh, Secret concierge. Oh, you're talking to Luke. Yeah, at least I get to catch the tail end. Rainy. Yeah, it's raining here too. Once again, called into work. Audio, you work too much. But I know you have to go or you'll lose your job. <laughs> and you got bills to pay. I don't like how hard you have to work though. 
Like water, it moves, it stays clean. Oh, good analogy. Edgo, we are not our emotions. What are we then? Hey, Spring. Oh, she's talking to someone else. So, Renee, excuse us. It was a big surprise to find a fellow at the wedding. Oh, no, talk. That's what I want. Look, this mush, this is the networking thing. And it wants us to network. It's wanting me to network. It's the one saying, oh, you should start a channel. Oh, you know what? You should start a Patreon. You know what? You should get on Facebook. And it's just like, hey, now you should do a retreat. Hey, you should do workshops. Like, geez, man, come on. I'm one freaking person. The cat on the bed is in dreamland. That's Gracie, baby. I love my Gracie May. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, howdy. Hey, Jason. Welcome. Child, the kit would be awesome for me. It would be awesome for a lot of people. I'll, I'll do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I wish I could just draw all day at home. The plumbing never sleeps. I did not know you were a plumber. That explains why you get called into work so much. <laughs> I get that. Okay, I'm caught up, y'all. I'm caught up. Did I show y'all what I'm... This is the massage oil that's going in the store. I just put them, bottled them, and melted the wax on them. I'm having fun with that store. I'm I am shooting for this Friday for opening it. But if you want to be notified, everything that happens when it happens, sign up to get the emails. I won't spam you. You knew I was cool. How do you, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I'm weird. And do y'all want to hear the singing bowl that I bought for the retreat? I'll have to go get it. Will everybody leave if I run get it? See, one person just left already. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Halcyon, the closest I can get to drawing all day, which I'll do when I have time. I kill time like I don't I used to have nine to five work and not care beyond that. Yeah, I definitely don't have a nine to five anymore. This channel, I used to work part time on it. Now I put in 12 to 14 hour days every day of the week and I take Sunday off. And it, it was hard for me to take Sundays off, but now it's like a hard Sunday is off. You'll stay for the bowl. All right. Singing bowl. All right. I'll go get it. Do I still use, I can't say the K word, but yes, I do. Well, not, not, I used it more back when I did that, um, the video about how this was the power entheogen and I broke my toe filming it and I was in a lot of pain. I had to use it for a couple of weeks for that. But when I don't need it, I don't tend to. The only time I took it recently was that very first day that, well, the first two or three days that YouTube was taking my videos down and I didn't want to keep taking too much of, and I bumped it. I stacked it with the K. Is the T, um, okay, look, first of all, it's a smoke blend there is mullein leaf in it and it has little hairs on it and it will really irritate the throat so if you do that i ain't telling you to do it but if you do it you got to filter it two or three times with a coffee filter um i cannot tell you that you can consume it all i can tell you is what the fda forces me to say which is that it's not safe for human consumption which we all happen to know is not true. <laughs> and that's about all I can say. Let me go grab the bowl and then I'll catch up with y'all. One second. I'll go quickly. Sorry, y'all. Sorry about that. Sorry, I just put my boobs in your face. Okay. Mm. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? It's beautiful. Bring out the bowl. I got your bowl, Eric. <laughs> Not that bowl. This bowl. I don't know how the sound's going to come across. It may distort. Let me know.
You want to hear it again? Yeah, I don't know what it's tuned at. I have a tuner. I could probably, I don't know where my tuner is. It's a spaceship, definitely. Surround sound, really? Yes, and it worked. You could hear it well like that. I missed some things that y'all said. You use that yourself to cover the problems as a result of past H addiction. Yeah, it would work for that. Again, please. Okay, sad. The audio quality is obviously low through this medium. Want to hear it again? We'll be doing a ceremony on how to use these at the retreat when y'all come here in person. Isn't it beautiful, Pamela? Let me let me read what I missed and then I'll hit it again. Um, I'll hit the bowl again. <laughs> Oh, God. The closest I can get. To, oh, we already read that. Um, singing bowl, singing bowl. Beautiful. Almost fell asleep. Oh, I am caught up. Cool. Okay. Oh, so many hearts. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's do it again. Where's the retreat? Here. Here in Georgia on Red Top Mountain. But all the details are on the website. Just at the top of the website, there's a word that says retreat. Click on that. There's only room for eight people and two tickets have already sold. I may open it up to two more people. It just depends on a couple of things that I'm trying to iron out. Oh my God, my daughter. Sorry, y'all. Let me turn this. Hi, y'all really? Pamela, what do you say that I might want to answer? Because I don't know anything about those kinds of addictions. I mean, I know that this helps because of dopamine. It pushes dopamine. Um, Lithuania is an amine. Oh, freaking. Oh, my God. Anita. Lithuania is an Anita paradise. If only people knew about it. Oh, we know. We know. We talk all the time about how uh, Latvia and Lithuania are the places that have the most places online to purchase. But let me tell you what. You know how y'all never know where to get anything online? Now on my website, I have vendors that I have personally approved. Pamela, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, the phone. No, no, she'll text me. All right. I got it. No, she'll text me if it's important. Um, she probably wants money for food. <laughs> for tremendous, isn't it? Can you explain what is this? It's called a singing bowl. I'll write it down here in the comments. Singing They're not cheap. Sounds like blood circulation. This is actually the one for the heart chakra. And that's why I got it. It's tuned to the heart chakra frequency. And I got it because that's what Amanita does. And that's what we'll be working on is the heart when we do the retreat. So good call, Luke. You're right. Move to a safe distance from the place where I was caught up. See, changing playmates and playgrounds. <clears throat> that T word, that medication, 
original that starts with a T. That stuff's crazy. I did not like it. I uh, proved one vendor for myself through my digestive tract. Oh, my God. See, I'm going to be doing those, the P, the one that starts with P. I'm going to be doing those soon. I'm waiting for the right time. Shaped like an ant. Uh, freaking. Oh, my God. A year and almost two years I've been saying that word on camera. It's a salt shaker that was made out of porcelain. You can see the Japanese stamp on the bottom of it if it would stop flashing and it's a salt shaker and it started chipping around the edges so i took the kind of clay that you bake and harden and i made this out of it and baked it and now it's this <clears throat> audio gear speakers and such are such a weakness i cannot make yeah, but it's so great. I love audio things. Clearly being a drummer and yeah, I'm big into audio. When I was fresh out of college, my car was all decked out with speakers and all this. Wow. Looks like I need a nap. This rainy day makes me want to go to bed. All right. Well, everybody's feeling slow today. It looks like we've capped out at 45, 46 people. That bowl made me want to go to sleep. Um, right. But how the blend, you got to go watch the video on my website under the smoke blends. I think it's got its own playlist. Me too, audio. I'm glad you didn't either. Okay. I have another singing ball, but I'm going to be playing it at the retreat also. Yeah, go, go. To, I'm so limited, man. I'm so, so sorry. I don't mean to be difficult, but it's the censorship. I got you. I got you. I answer it all there. I promise. I promise. So y'all need to come find me on Instagram because things that I don't post here, photos that I want you guys to see, stories that I tell and stuff that I don't post here, really beautiful things I post there. I really wish that y'all would come to Instagram. That's what I really wish you'd do. Not just go to my website for your education, but really come to Instagram for fun because I have a blast there. Like I found a video game from Atari in a discount store and the cover was a bunch of these. And like I posted that on Insta, like stupid shit like that. Interesting things, things I think are fun. I let people know that the video for how to make the chocolates that they were uploaded. Somebody, I, a lot of people stayed at my house on their way through and as a thank you, they drew me that and I posted it like I post every day there. I got some good stuff coming soon too. stories I want to tell. Like, I don't think I showed you all that picture. I'm trying to hold it where it doesn't flash. The light doesn't flash. Anyway, I have fun on Insta and I wish y'all would come find me there. Plus, if you curate your feed well, you'll get all kinds of cool stuff, man. Insta's nice. People are nice there. So how sites get away with it? Okay, I'll talk about that on my other live video that I did right before this one. Basically, he started before Google bought YouTube. And he went through what I went through with all the strikes and getting locked out. And he was worried about saving his channel. And this was when YouTube was smaller. And I think he got an attorney and they were in talks. And I think that it took a couple of months to hammer it out. And they settled on the fact that he had to put this disclaimer at the front. And as long as he did and that he stayed within certain boundaries, he was good. I believe he got grandfathered in. And because of the lawsuit, 
They can't do anything about it. And he knows what his limits are because it was discussed. You can't do that now. There are no, I don't believe there's humans anymore that, and there's definitely so many people using it. And so it's just not possible to do that anymore. And if I had the money, I would sue them because I do have a leg to stand on because this is not dangerous and it is not illegal. And if I had the money, I would be suing them right now. Public videos from their cheat. Oh yeah. You know me. I'll make a video about any damn thing. Any excuse to make a cinematic video? Hell yeah. I won't do any sessions like just set the recorder up and let it run because these are going to be really private experiences, but I'll definitely be making a cinematic. You tried burning a stick during your drone? No. Is that the one that is sandalwood? Sarune. So cool to meet an English. Okay. Y'all are talking to each other. How's a deftus getting, they didn't, they took all of his down that had to do with that. They took them all down. They're not up anymore. Um, I don't think that they've come after him about the blue one yet. If not, I don't know why the cartoon creators not suitable for children had to start using disclaimers to, no, that's because of the FCC. They came down on YouTube about the whole children thing. The FCC, don't even get me started on them. They're half the reason for half our problems. I'm being repressed audio layer, the written disclaimer. That's a hilarious movie, by the way. Okay. The Jews harp is cool too, yeah. Oh, I know. I'm down here in the South. So we are coming up on an hour. I think we will call it a day. Please go sign up on my website to get an email. I won't spam you. I won't, I'll probably write you once a week, really short little note. And if you want to go to the retreat, information is there. Follow me on Insta, Facebook, Twitter. I'm most active on Insta. I will be releasing two videos here this week. And one of them is on fate versus uh, free will. And then I'm working on several about, about this that involves that <laughs> the whole reason I made my channel and they will be going up over on the website. And then I'm going to go get out in nature. I need a break. I have worked nonstop 12 hour days for a month, getting my website up and doing all these workshops and podcasts, the store, hopefully Friday, it sold out last time in 10 hours. So I tried to make, I, I can't make much more than I make. Um, let me catch up. Glad to arrive to at least see some of the live Lama say, hey, yeah, I'm glad you did too. Sharing your knowledge with the world. Gaga, I can't stop. The mushroom makes me do it. Prioritize sleep. I know how much it hurts once it hits. Yeah. It's not that I need sleep. I only sleep about four or five hours a night. I've always been that way. It's that I need nature and I need to not be attached to the phone and the computer. And I need to go completely untethered and get lost in the woods for a couple of days. Today's National Walking Day. That's a good idea. Thank you all. Thank you for being here today. I love you, beautiful people.